Hello all, this video is going to be on sandboxing Firefox uh, within Linux. Um, it's a program called Fire Jail. You may have heard of it. If so, then you can probably skip watching this video. If not, uh, we can go through uh, configuring that. And actually I was really surprised I didn't find the results unless I typed in the wrong query for uh, Fire Jail and Firefox, but it is out there. Uh, for Arch Linux users, we use the uh, user uh, Arch Linux user repository. So, just open the terminal, and we'll just do uh, a search or just the hour fire. So far, there's only one result: fire jail, one word. And it says Linux namespaces sandbox program, which is pretty cool, actually. So just press 1 and just go through the usual routine of uh, adding a new package you don't need to and just continue installing. Alright, so if you have mlocate installed uh, through Pac-Man, you can just use locate fire jail. This is what I've done here. And just to show you the locations in Etsy fire jail, and there are already are profiles for Chromium Dash Browser, Chromium, and other uh, things it disables. Dropbox, and you see here Firefox. So we are concerned with Firefox. So it's very simple to run uh, through a command. Just type in fire jail, press tab on that, and then the word Firefox. And it comes up fairly quick. And you can see what it's doing. Uh, but it's not doing a, a, a lot. In, at the moment, um, but there is a way to fix that. So we'll close this Firefox and it closes uh, Fire Jail uh, very quickly. Uh, so it includes a, a thing called uh, SCCCOMP, uh, Secure Computing, as well. Uh, so you have to uh, specify that. So again, Fire Jail. And then to put pass arguments is two dashes. So sec c o comp uh, two dashes debug. So you can see the output and then Firefox. Now if you look through here, it's blacklisting and disabling a whole bunch of uh, directories when you're using Firefox as you look through the list. Uh, certain things are blacklisted and a little safer with a set, set comp enabled. Additionally, uh, there is an article written by uh, Linus. I think this is it here, but it's just a text file. Uh, it just explains what uh, set, set comp is secure computing with filters, uh, which that's what uh, the program Fire Jail is doing. And it's using uh, the filter, uh, I believe, BPF. And you could read through this. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I'm no security expert, <laughs> um, but it does give you an idea. And if you are a programmer or, or more in, um, fluent with security, uh, you might want to take a look at this. You probably already have anyway. So uh, fire, uh, fire. Um, so the sec. SecComp is not a sandbox in itself, as it's, uh, explained here, and it's just a means for programmers to use uh, this filtering and stuff and adding um, other um, parameters, I guess, to the uh, whatever program you're writing with. So that's what, uh, as I said, what FireDale is doing. And you'll get this once in a while, and I have no idea what they're about. <laughs> really, uh, but uh, I guess you could look into them. So it's basically sandboxing Firefox through the command line, and uh, if you wish, you could just edit your uh, edit your shortcuts uh, to include it uh, instead of calling Firefox, for example. So we go to the properties um, and you edit. It could be uh, whatever you you typed in the command here. So you just copy this, and then 
command instead of this, you just paste that in and press save, close. So I'll close uh, Firefox and it shuts down and we'll see if it's still responding. Now a way to look at this, another way to look at this is uh, includes a utility called Fire, Mon Fire Monitor, Fire Jail Monitor I guess. So you have to use a, a elevated uh, right, so sudo uh, fire mon, and there's a whole bunch of uh, parameters, dash, two dashes list, and it shows right here that it is running, or uh, or in this case, uh, it's larger this way, fire mon dash, two dashes uh, top. And give it some time, and it'll come back. Just to confirm that it's running, it shows you the CPU usage uptime and what the parameters you used. For example, this sec comp and uh, debug. You can also use a CPU parameter, like uh, if you have six cores, maybe CPU equals four or maybe two. So that's just a quick look, um, very quick and simple look at uh, Fire Jail. Now I'll post links to the, the actual page where it is, and uh, it's fairly self-explanatory. There's also ways of running in private mode. You can uh, make a directory uh, for private browsing if you want. Uh, keep in mind that if you use, say, uh, Fire Jail Debug uh, C CPU equals, say, 2 in a virtual machine, um, then private, if you don't specify equals some directory, uh, it won't remember. So I'm just going to type that in. So private and then uh, Firefox. Hopefully I typed everything right. And of course, um, you'll get the first run because it's obviously a new profile, basically. And once you close this, if you make any changes without specifying a directory, in the uh, command, uh, all this stuff will be gone. So, uh, whatever, just gotta customize. You get the idea. Throw that over there and close. Shuts down. Just run that command again. It'll go back to the first run experience. Okay? So, again, a very quick look and very simple, simple look at uh, Fire Jail, but it might be worth looking into because it might be a little while before Firefox introduces any kind of sandboxing. I know they're working on it. There is a nightly build, but I'm not sure what the parameters are uh, to enable it or if they're working or not. Okay, so Fire Jail and uh, Arch Linux users uh, through the user repository. So that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.